Hello. In this video, we are going to look at the symmetry properties of cyclooctatetraene and related compounds. Cyclooctatetraene has the formula C8H8. First, we optimize the molecule subject to the constraint that the molecule be planar. We also set the spin multiplicity to 3, which means that we have two unpaired electrons giving a so-called triplet state. If we do that, we get a molecule that is planar with all eight carbon-carbon bonds of the same length. We note that this molecule is planar because we constrain it to be so, giving a shape that is equivalent to a regular octagon. This mirror plane is a horizontal mirror, sigma h. The small circle we have placed in the center shows the location of the highest order rotation axis, hc8, which is perpendicular, normal, to the plane of the molecule. Since this axis is perpendicular to the mirror plane in the plane of the molecule, the mirror is a horizontal mirror. We have the symmetry group D8H for this somewhat contrived triplet version of the molecule. Because there are eight carbon atoms, each of which is part of a double bond, we have eight pi electrons. Recall that if we have 4n pi electrons, n being two here, we have a molecule that is anti-aromatic, so less stable than would be the isolated double bonds. The molecule is, in reality, a singlet. If we arrange the eight pi electrons, the two highest energy electrons do seem to be in the left orbital, whereas the right orbital has zero electrons. The Jan Teller theorem tells us that whenever we have unequal occupation of degenerate energy levels, levels that have the same exact energy, the molecule will distort so as to remove the degeneracy. After the distortion, note that we now have different energy to those uh, two different levels. We still have a planar molecule because we've constrained it to be so, and it is a singlet, but now it's not going to be a perfect octagon. we now get a molecule with alteration of single and double bond. The highest order rotation axis is now a D4. This molecule has four vertical mirror planes shown here in either orange or green.
there are a number of C2s which are perpendicular to the high order C four axis. And if we can find one of them, we know that we have to be able to find four giving us a D group. This molecule also has a mirror in the plane of the molecules, which is a horizontal mirror because it's perpendicular to the C4 axis, therefore giving us the group symmetry of D4H for this, again, somewhat contrived planar version of the molecule. Let's consider the cyclooctatetraene dianion, the minus two ion. We add the two additional electrons to our total of pi electrons, giving 10. Note that 4n plus two pi electrons gives an aromatic molecule. Therefore, the dianion really is planar, even without being constrained by the calculation to be so. And the molecule has the same symmetry as the perfect octagon, D8H. Note that this is the first example that we have considered that really exists this way. And here is a sketch showing the pi electrons for the cyclooctatetraene dianion. So what do we get with neutral singlet cyclooctatetraene if we do not force it to be planar? From the top, we see the same alteration of single and double bonds that we saw before. If we look from the side, we see that the molecule is very non-planar. Four of the carbon atoms are in one plane and the other four are in a second plane. This has a high order rotation axis of a C4. This molecule also has an S4 improper rotation. So know that if we look at the pairs of carbon atoms, either in green boxes or red boxes, look at the red box to the right, for example. If we do a C4 rotation, that moves the red to the green box. We can think of the red box as being closer to us and the green box being further away. So if we do the rotation, the red box and the green box do not line up. But if we follow that with a reflection through the plane of the molecule, a sigma H, then that does transform the red box carbons into the green box ones, showing us that we have this C4 rotation. This molecule has two dihedral mirrors shown here in orange. In many ways, the dihedral and vertical mirrors uh, are easily confused. In this particular molecule, we notice that the mirror planes go between 
the uh, atoms rather than through them, making them dihedral mirrors in this case. Here we see one of the dihedral mirrors in a side view. Here is the second dihedral mirror. Also, this side view emphasizes the fact that the molecule not being planar, we do not have a horizontal mirror as a uh, operation in and of itself of the point group of the molecule. Here at the point where the two bonds seem to cross in the center of the molecule, we have a C2 axis. And there are two such C2 axes in the molecule that are perpendicular to the high order C4, therefore making this some kind of D group. And also notice because of the presence of the dihedral mirrors and even more because of the fact of the improper rotation S4, we have a D to D group. So one great way of recognizing D and D groups is the presence of an S to N. For example, in D to D, we would find an S4. In D3D, we'd expect to find an S6. In D4D, for example, we'd find an S8. Therefore, the symmetry group of the uh, neutral singlet cyclooctatetraene that we actually find in nature is going to be D to D. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Please stay safe out there. And as always, have a good one.